Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and in this video, I want to show you how you can change these variable product dropdown lists into a much more user friendly grid layout. So, if you already have variable products in WooCommerce, then you probably know they can be quite a headache to manage. And what's even worse is that customers need to use these drop down menus for each and every variation that they want to order, which for many wholesale customers is a complete waste of time and it's not at all intuitive. But instead, you could display a much nicer grid format, which makes ordering multiple different variations a much nicer experience. And it even works when there are more than two product attributes. To enable this, I'm using the WooCommerce Bulk Variations plugin from Barn2, which I believe is a must-have plugin for wholesalers. Because you can also use it to edit things like prices and images for variations much faster than normal. I'll show you how that works in a moment, but first let's look at how to install and set it up on your website. We now offer a live demo of this plugin on our website, so just click the first link in the description and you can test it out for yourself. Or if you do choose to purchase the plugin, it also comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. To install the plugin, download the files from your purchase confirmation email and take note of your license key. From your WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new plugin and then click upload and choose the zip file from your purchase confirmation. Click install and once that's done, click on activate. Now, if it's your first time installing the plugin, then this will launch the setup wizard where you can enter your license key, click on activate and then click on next. As for features, I would enable both options and then click on next. You can also enable the first two checkboxes in the general settings if you want to show the grid layout for any number of attributes. I would leave the third box unchecked unless you only want to display a grid with no purchasing options. If there are images for variations, you can choose to show them vertically or horizontally, or you can choose to hide the images. Then you can head to the settings page where all of the settings that you just enabled can be updated and changed. To find this page, simply go to WooCommerce settings, click on the products tab, and then click on bulk variations. So now we've set that all up, let's go to the front page of our store and test it out as if we were a customer. So let's say we find an item that's a variable product here where it says select options. So we go to that product page and we can see this grid layout right from the start showing four different sizes and three different types of sweatshirts. And you can see right away that I haven't updated the images for these variations because they all look the same. So when I go into the settings later, I will make sure to update that and correct that issue. But here we can add any number of different items to the cart using these selection boxes and then add them all to the basket at once just with one click. So that's how the plugin affects the front end for customers, but it's also designed to make your life a lot easier on the back end. Let's take a look. I'll click on edit product. We'll head to that page, scroll down. You can see there's a new tab here for bulk variations. And we'll choose to override the global settings for this product. If we want to change any of these settings, which will be different from the settings we set up earlier. Or we can just leave it all the same. And you'll notice that in the variations tab, something else is here as well. We have filters. So let's filter by the black color and then choose this box here for bulk actions. And we will set the image, set thumbnail, so now we just need to find our hoodie. That's the black variety. So that's this one here. And that'll update all of the images for that variety. Now, if I choose another color, for example, navy, and once again, set the thumbnail, then I'll scroll down till I find the navy version of that hoodie. And this image will do for now. Click on update for the entire product. Let's go back and 
refresh this page. And you can see that the thumbnail updated for the Navy option here. Also, if I click it, I can get the zoomed in version because of the settings. Now, if I go back to the product editing screen and I click on variations one more time, I can choose a filter, for example, the size extra large, and I can update the price of this variation. Set regular price, and I can enter any value I like, for example, $59. And now if I expand those here, you can see the regular price was updated. So any of these items that you want to update, you can do so by first filtering and then using the bulk actions to change them. Basically, it just saves you time by grouping together different attributes so you can change them all at once. Now take, for example, this page where the hoodie has four attributes, including the size, color, and two more, style and logo. If that's the case, then they'll show up in the table like this with the drop down options, which is still very handy and usable, although it may be a little bit too much for ordinary shopping pages. So this is best for wholesalers and bulk sellers. Let's take a look at this product on the back end. And you can see in the attributes tab, there are four attributes added. And then within the variations tab, let's say that we wanted to charge more for a certain style. So first of all, I'm going to filter by style, let's say luxury. These are all the variations with the luxury style. And I'm going to increase the price by 10%. So let's go to increase regular price by a fixed amount or percentage and let's make it 10%. Okay, if I select an item with the style of luxury, then the price has increased by 10% from $60 to $66. You can also add a variation grid to any part of your website using a short code. And you can read more about that in the documentation, which I've linked below in the description. Remember that you can test out a live demo of the plugin by clicking on this link here. And for more WooCommerce tips, check out this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.